Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is tell you what a angle bisector is. So um, there's a couple words here. Obviously we have an angle and then we have a bisector. And the best way I can kind of introduce you to the bisector is going back to the midpoint. And if you remember, we looked at the midpoint. You know, if you have a, like a line, you have two points here, you know, A and B. Well, the midpoint is going to be the point that's right in the middle of those two points, which we'll call C. And the reason why that was important is because C, you know, basically cuts this in half. It's right in the middle. So if this whole length was 10, that means the length from A to C and the length from C to B is equivalent or this, you know, equal. And those are both going to be 5, right? So 5 plus 5 equals 10. That is the midpoint. So the midpoint, you know, basically cuts up that angle in halves. Now, we kind of actually have already introduced an angle uh, bisector. And what we did is when we talked about the difference between supple, our, uh, straight angle and a right angle. So you know, here's two points. Here's A, B, and C. That would be called a straight angle, right? Well, remember, we created a right angle was basically taking this 180 degrees, like from here to here is 180 degrees, and we broke it up into two right angles, which are both at 90 degrees. So you could see whatever the line that breaks up that straight angle and cuts it directly in half is actually an angle bisector. And that's what an angle bisector is. All it is an angle bisector is, is going to be a line that is going to be perfectly cut an angle in half, where whatever the angle is, now you're going to have two um, smaller portions that are exactly, two smaller angles that are exactly the same. So if here's my angle, you know, and this angle could be anything. Here we show 180. Break it up into two points is 90. That means this is your angle bisector, whatever. Let's call this D. Um, CD is your angle bisector. But that's important because now I know that these two are the same, which are both you know, 90 degrees. However, if, you, if here I have an angle, and again, we don't know what this measure is. But if I have an angle bisector, and let's just say I tell you that whatever that is is an angle bisector. The reason why it's important is because now I just cut those two angles in half. Therefore, they're equal to each other. And what that's going to be helpful is we'll be able to write expressions um, to help represent that. So therefore, we could solve for uh, missing values and so forth. So it's very helpful, especially once we get into a little bit more complicated problems. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your basics for an angle bisector. Thanks.